Okay, people, just wrapped up a day and a half installed my grandparents' house. We placed this 1979 two and a half ton Bryant compressor in the new 80,000 BTU furnace. The old one had here was 100,000 BTUs. That's a bit oversized. So this is old, old unit here. I bled some uh, free on off it in my recovery tank and then pumped the rest down. It still still worked barely. But anyhow, there's the new uh, 30,000 BTU Goodman, our 410A. Ran the factory charge. It was nice, so what we did is we ran a, a new a conduit. This the old one was. Oh, that was not liquid tight. Good old armor cable, but these are getting all rusty and wasn't long enough anyway, so these are like 12 bucks. So, Got some spray foam insulation to seal the hole in the house. A new line set. It's a little over 15, maybe 16, 17 feet. It's about 125 psi suction, 260 head. It's perfect. 66 degrees out here. It's a little cool for air conditioning, but it's 75 in the house. Yeah, it's going real nice and quiet. And yes, use the old disconnect because it's a heavy duty old Gould Eat ITE. And there is there is nothing wrong with it. So except a little wasp nest. I'm gonna do a little, a little eviction. We had to replace this clean dryer, put a new dryer vent because the other one was falling apart. Okay, let's go around front. And since this is Allen County, since my grandfather's house, yes, we were doing this by the book and doing it correctly. And yes, this is not a hack and so on. Yes, we did pull a permit on this job. So, just in case you're wondering, it's out front here. There you go, see? Building permit or heating information. Yeah, here on here they make you, if it declare the heating BTUs and cooling BTUs. The system type gas fire with AC replacement until the source nips go. So, it's natural gas. Okay, let's check out the furnace. So we so new 80,000 BTU, 80% efficient equipment furnace. And we have a two and a half ton, new two and a half ton case coil. Okay, this is a downflow system, so it's, it blows right into the concrete. There's a concrete slab, so you already have a you know, non combustible floor service. Put a union in here so you can uh, easily disconnect the drain. Let's see if it's, if it's plugged. This is a water meter. Gas furnace. Ran the line set from here. Used my tubing better. Made some nice bends here. Gradual bend around here. This is fun. This room is only four by five feet. So we have the water line behind the water heater, behind the washer and dryer. And it goes outside with the wall down here. So a four by ten uh, barometric pressure relief damper in here. It lets it helps let some more. Uh, combustion air in here for the furnace water heater. There's another one down here. Those are, those are outside air returns and we have another one. Happens, I guess that one's for the furnace. It's in here for the water heater. Just They have to have so many square inches per BTU to allow for combustion air. This is our space guard. Follows 2200. I never ever ever use one inch throwaway filters my my installs uh uh they get a they get a proper air filter. This is twenty by twenty five and five inches thick. Merv Merv eleven. So it's it's good to two thousand B2 somebody else. Mine's mechanical. Check off the old quarty labels here. I put a so all the chimney four by five transition new five inch elbow. It was getting kinda rusty and a little little piece five inch to Tie into our C vent T here, the water heaters. That's all. That's all three inch. So. Energy guide label. Eighty percent. Oh. 
old furnace had this nigger rigged outlet box screwed on here for an extra outlet I don't know, metal box outlets wrap electrical tape, I put it back together yeah, there was crap, but so this is how the house is built, you got a disconnect here, a simple light switch here's a power feed white dip, since this has an internal electrical box we just grab the power wire right in here the one that's tighter for a thermostat wires, I did run a this is old thermostat wires, nothing wrong with it Put a new th digital thermostat in here, but I also I ran a new thermostat wire from here to outside. It was getting kind of old, and insulation was crumbly. You know, I've been electrical taped a couple times. Somebody hit it with a weed or so. Just went ahead and ran a new uh, line lay outside the unit. So it's two, 20 feet of two conductor wires. You know, inexpensive insurance. And down here, before we set the coal on the floor, put a big bead of clear. Are to be silicone around here, so it seals up the base good to the concrete, so that no, no air leaks. This is kind of dark. I see the bottom of around here. It's a CAPF 3030B6. It's a B17 inch wide furnace. So that's a they call it a B chassis. But, okay, there you have it. Another another non hacked quality install. Uh, they have about 12 hours start to finish. It was quite the work job to tear all the old junk out of here. Just seen the mess of pipes and wires and junk. It was it was really messy. But yeah, we cleaned the floor up. Just wash and dryer. Yeah, quarantine that's we put the old furnace in back in 1991. There you have it. Talk to you later.